question states that the ODA sequence controls and the options given are first option growth of recombinants. This is incorrect. Second option action of restriction endonucleases. This is also incorrect. Third option copy number of the linked DNA. Yes, this is the correct answer for ODE sequence. ODE sequence is the sequence from where replication starts and this sequence is also responsible for the copy number of the linked DNA in a cloning vector. Option number fourth linking of antibiotic resistance gene in the plasmid. This is incorrect. This function is performed by the DNA ligase. So, correct answer to this question is option number C that is copy number of the linked DNA. Moving to the next question, question states that match column 1 and column 2 and choose the correct option. Column 1 cry first AC. Cry first AC, this gene is obtained from Bt cotton and this gene is specific Bt toxin gene. So, a matches with 3. Second option TAC polymerase. TAC polymerase is a thermostable DNA polymerase obtained from Thermus aquaticus. So, B matches with 2. C native plasmid of Salmonella typhi murium. This native plasmid of Salmonella typhi murium was used by Stanley Cohen and Herbert Boyer to create the first recombinant DNA in the year 1972. So, C matches with fourth D, natural genetic engineer for plants. TI plasmid of agrobacterium tumefaciens has been modified to deliver our desired gene in variety of plants. So, D matches with 1. Let us see this combination is given in which option A with 3, B with 2, C with 4, D with 1. This is given in option number 2. So, correct answer to this question is option 2. Proceeding to the next question, question states that match the following columns and choose the correct option. Column 1 A bacterial pathogen, enteric fever, enteric fever is typhoid and typhoid is caused by salmonella typhi which is a bacteria. So, bacterial pathogen causes what? Enteric fever. So, A matches with fourth. Protozoan pathogen, malaria. Malaria is caused by plasmodium which is a protozoa. So, protozoan pathogen causes malaria. So, B matches with one. Helminthic pathogen. Elephantiasis is caused by Wuchiriria bancrofti, a helminth. So, helminthic pathogen causes elephantiasis. So, C matches with 2. Streptococcus causes pneumonia. Pneumonia is mainly caused by Haemophilus influenzae and Streptococcus pneumoniae. So, D matches with 3. Let us see this combination is given in which option? A with 4, B with 1, C with 2 and D with 3. This is given in option 4. So, correct answer to this question is option 4. Proceeding to the next question students. Question states that which among the following induces the completion of the meiotic division in the secondary oocyte? And the options given are mere contact of sperm with zona pellucida. This is incorrect. Second option entry of sperm into cytoplasma of ovum. This is correct. Meiosis 2 in secondary oocyte completes when sperm enters in its cytoplasm and this occurs during fertilization. And after completion of meiosis 2, mature ovum that is ooted and second polar body are formed. Third option, capacitation of sperms. This is incorrect. Capacitation of sperms occurs in the female reproductive tract. Fourth option, release of first polar body. This is incorrect. Re first polar body is released after completion of meiosis 1. So, correct answer to this question is option number 2 that is B. Proceeding to the next question students and question states that choose the correct statement with respect to ethidium bromide and the options given are first option it is used to separate DNA fragments in gel electrophoresis. This is incorrect. In agarose gel electrophoresis, DNA fragments separate on the basis of size. DNA possesses negative charge and they move towards the anode that is the positive electrode. Second statement aids in visualization of DNA fragments under UV light. This is correct. 
DNA fragments after gel electrophoresis can be visualized after staining the DNA with ethidium bromide under UV light and they appear as orange colored bands. Third option, enable the detection of RNA fragments under infrared radiation, this is incorrect. Fourth option, produces bright blue light under UV radiation, no, they produces, they appear as orange colored bands under the UV radiation. So, correct answer to this question is option number B. Proceeding to the next question, 